Hi Bromies, it's your boy Ricky here with Bromero Cards. I hope you're doing well today. Today is April 1st, so today I am going to be showing you what fountain pens I'm going to be using this month along with what inks I have inside them. So if you're here for card making, unfortunately this is not going to be the video for you, but if you're here uh, by searching on you know YouTube and finding me through inks and fountain pens and stationery and all that great stuff, Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I just want to let you know, I'm pretty new to this whole process thing. Um, a lot of my card making friends wanted me to show a video of my fountain pens and things like that. So what I've been doing is going through my fountain pens and choosing four each month that I write with. I do have a planner that I do most of my writing in and pretty much towards the end of this video, I'll, I'm kind of going to do a flip through of the months of February and March because I did not do that for February and it's just going to be a quick flip through so you can kind of see like how creative my planner is, how I use it and all that great stuff. So let's go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the pins and I'm going to tell you what's inside of them and then we're going to do some ink swatching to show you what those ink colors look like. So I'll be right back. Okay, so if you've seen these videos before, you know I have a book that shows what ink pens that I have or what fountain pens that I have and what I ink them up with. And it also gives the date that I ink them up with and um, you know, it just gives a, like a general description of the pen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the pens that I have selected for this month and we're gonna take a look at the inks uh, that I ink them up with, and then what we'll move on to is the ink swatching and all that great stuff. So let's go ahead and look down at the uh, desk here. And so my first pen is going to be the Jin Hao 82 Avocado Green, and that would be this pen. It is beautiful. I love this color. Um, this is a really quite affordable um, fountain pen that you can get on Amazon. I will link all the pins down below in the description so that you can see where I got those from and how much they are and all that great stuff. And I've paired this up with a new ink that's coming out on April 5th from Ferris Will Press and it's called Dancing Time. And so that's the box there. It's beautiful as always. And I just realized, used the wrong time. I need to correct that. But anywho, so that's the pen we're going to be using this month. I, I wanted to go with kind of like a spring feel. So you're going to see some pastel colors or some, you know, pinks and blues and greens. So this is uh, the pen. It is a fine point pen. So I didn't put anything in here that has any shimmer or anything in it because I did not want it to get clogged up. So there's pen one. All right. The next pen is the Kaweco Sport Mint, and that is this little beauty here. So cute and adorable. I love this guy. And I have paired this up with the Dominant, um, Dominant Industries Fairy Forest. And this is kind of like a, like a tealish color. It has some shimmer in it, like some silver greenish um, shimmer in it. And Let's just unscrew this guy. This is like a pocket pen. So you just unscrew it and then cap it. And then you have this little itty bitty pen that is so cute. And I love him. All righty. Up next. We have my uh, Lamy Safari Light Rose, which is this pen here. And then I have that inked up with Waringal Juliet. Uh, this has a shimmer in it. It's a pink. It's really pretty. And I like these pens because you can see how much ink is in your pen. I really like that. It's nice. This is a medium point pen, which I have it here, medium. And I thought just having a pink would be really nice this month. Up next, we have my Twisby Diamond 580 Iris. I keep this inked up with Platinum Chaukoro Black. Um, this is always in this pen. I do not switch it out, or I have not for a while. I may one day, but I just really like this pen and ink combination. 
This is what I do a lot of my writing with in my journals and my planners. And I just really, really enjoy this pen. Up next, we have my Twisby Eco Tea Cerulean Blue. This is what I keep my blue ink in, and the blue ink is Noodler, Noodler's Liberty Elysium. And I always keep the blue in this pen as well. These two pens are staples, and I always keep them, um, you know, in the pen. I have inked this up. I need to update this date. I just inked this up last week. So um, it does have a pretty big ink barrel in it. So doesn't really get filled up a lot because I'm, you know, I don't use blue as often. It, it is used, um, I do some rotations in my planner for ink colors, and you're going to see that when I show that to you at the end of the video, but um, it doesn't get really used a lot. All righty. And then last but not least, I have my Banu Vodka on the Rocks, and you guys, I love this pen. I debated on if I wanted to use it this month, but it's been sitting unused for about two months. And then I was like, you guys, you know what? I have to have to do this. I have to show this. So, and in this one, uh, this one is inked up with Ferris Will Press, The Riveting Pond. So this ink here, it's very pretty. And this has a light blue base with a green pink shimmer and it has a high shading quality on it. So really, really nice pen. It's big, it's chunky. I love a chunky pen. And it's also a medium nib. So I'm super excited to start using these pens in April. I like, I just love this. Look how shiny it is. It's like, it's giving like 1970s, like disco. It's, it's giving like, it's it's vodka on the rocks. That's basically what this is. And I can't wait to get more of these uh, types of pens. I, I really like this company because they make pens uh, that are like out of the ordinary. They're not like, I don't know how to say it. Like they're not like classic. I don't want to even say this is classic, but they're just a little wild. And I love wild. I love bright. I love that kind of stuff. So um, I'm looking forward to getting more pens uh, that are made by this company. I just try to stick to getting them on sale or clearance. Um, I try not to pay full price for things. So um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the desk set up so that we can start doing some ink swatching and I'll be right back and then we can do that and then it's going to be fun. So be right back. All right, so we have all the materials that we need to go ahead and do the ink swatching here. We're going to be using the Kikamori uh, nib here, along with the holder that I have, the River City holder. Uh, we have a pipette. We just have a lid to some kind of spray bottle that I have here to spread the ink out. And I have two things of water right here so that we can do some cleaning. And I also have a towel here so that we can wipe things down when we need to. So the first ink we're going to work with is... The Dancing Time from Ferris Will Press. So what we'll do is we're just going to take a drop of this, place it down onto the paper, take the lid and spread this out this way. And go ahead and clean that off. And then we'll dip that down in there. And we'll just write um, what this is. If we can get this to uh, come into there we go.
And then I kind of just like to do that. A little squiggly. Some of these, some of these. And then a thick line, medium line, a small line. And then I just like to come in and do a little heart because it's cute. Why not? All right, so there we go. That's the first color. That's Ferris Wheel Press Dancing Time. And again, I used the wrong time. There we go. We will go to Dominant Industry. We're going to do Fairy Forest. So this does have some shimmer in it. So we need to go ahead and get that shaken up so that it's good and mixed. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll just take the dropper. And take the lid, spread it out. Ooh, that's so pretty, you guys. Ooh, so pretty. Love it. And the ink. Look at that dip down in there. Perfect. Let's see here. Okay. I feel like I didn't get enough ink in this. There we go. Waringal Juliet. It's the William Shakespeare series. Thought these would be really nice spring colors for April. It's a very light color. All righty. Let's see if I can spell this right. All right. And this has got like a peachish, orangish, orangish color to it. It's really nice. Thought it would be very great. It reminds me of like a floral color. It's very pretty. So hard down here. I feel like I didn't get enough ink in this guy. And I don't think I dipped it down enough, but that's okay. All right. All right, and then last but not least, we have the Riveting Pond. Riveting Pond. We'll go ahead and shake this guy up. It's a really pretty color, you guys. In here. All right.
I really want to get the glass version of this of this um, pen or of this uh, nib. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. But they sold out of it before I could actually get one. So there we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this time to dry. I'll be back to show you guys what these look like. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look into my planner so that you guys can see what that looks like. So I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, so this has had time to dry. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys. Um, as you can see, this is the um, Dancing Time by Ferris Wheel Press. This is coming out on April 5th. It's a very nice olive green. It shades really well. It also has like some touches of pink in here. I don't know if you can, if that comes across, but it looks really nice. Here we have the Dominant Industry Fairy Forest. This has a really nice glimmer to it. It also pulls up really good into like a darker teal color. It's really nice. Here we have the Wearing All Juliet. This is a pink, as you can see, it has a very nice gold glimmer to it. So pretty, I love that. And then we have the Ferris Wool Press, the Ribbiting Pond, and this is also very pretty. It has like this greenish gold um, shimmer to it in this teal. So very, very pretty colors. I'm looking forward to uh, writing with these. And then just to show you what the Noodlers looks like, this is the Noodlers Blue. And then this is the black that I use. So very nice colors. Looking forward to um, writing with these this month. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the desk ready. And then I'm just going to do a little short flip through of my journal so that you guys can take a look at that. Okay, so I thought I would just give you a quick quick run through of my Hobonichi Cousin Teco or Techo. Um, this is a planner that I have never used before. So this is kind of my first time, as you can see, I'm doing really well with it. I've been trying to complete it every day, um, do a daily gener daily um, entry into this. And so, yeah. But anyway, I thought I'll just give you like a little run through. This is kind of like where I keep my bill section of bills that I pay. And then this is kind of like my sticker area and some more stickers and all that great stuff. But what I thought I would do is just kind of show you um, my weeklies here, just kind of a run through to show you what these look like. And I just kind of do decorations and, you know, try to do, you know, try to write something in it. A lot of the time is working, so I don't really have a lot to write. Um, these are some questions that someone asked me for when I do my craft room tour that I'm going to be using. So, um, yeah, there's just a few things in here. There's a few weeks that I did not complete because I was on vacation. Um, wasn't a lot of things going on other than just chilling and having fun. And then this is the week that we're in now. And then for February for my dailies, I thought I would just flip through these real quick. So um, this is my February. And I'm not like super organized in this. Like there's some people that have like some beautiful spreads. I kind of just stick to stickers. I print out my own photos and, you know, I'll put like receipts in here and things like that. I don't do anything. like I don't draw or anything like that. So um, there's my baby girl, Ivy. Um, so I thought this was kind of cool. I took this piece of acetate that had printing on it and stuck it in here. So it's kind of like a window. And then like a, um, a receipt, this is, um, this was a receipt for my husband's birthday dinner that we had. This is his cake, um, super fun. And oh, and then as you can see, the inks are rotating every two days. So that's kind of what I do. And then we're into March, this is my birthday month. And then here you're going to see where I don't do a lot in some of the days here. Like I did some decorating, but 
like see you can kind of see I kind of fell off here with writing um, I was on vacation didn't have all oh, Voss King Voss um, you know so I was just kind of chilling I didn't really have a lot to write about um, other than the things that we kind of did that day but yeah like there's this day sometimes I switch it up and I like to write upside down you know just to have something different um, this is the day we voted. Everyone should go out and vote. And then, you know, this was a light day, but I did decorate it. Same thing. This is my doggy, Imogene Nichols. Um, didn't have a lot to say here. I did write my prompt, but um, here I just did decorations. And then um, this, I was super excited because I got accepted into the Rancho Gordo Bean Club. So um, I had to write about that. And then this is my husband when he was younger, so I thought I'd print that out. And then I just have some more writing here. As you can see, I got home. I was started to write more. And then we're into the last couple days here. So, um, yeah, I'll start April off um, just the way I did March. I'll write in um, here. You can see that I write in the inks and the pens that I use each month um, just to have a record of it. And, yeah, so... That's that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Let me know if this is something that you really enjoy watching. Um, I think what I would like to do is do a live one night where I just do a bunch of ink swatching because I do have a bunch of samples that I would like to do as well. So if you would like to watch a live while I'm doing that and we could just chit and chat and talk and, you know, talk about things going on in the world and all that great stuff. Just let me know down in the comments. Tell me what color you enjoyed down in the comments as well. And uh, if you get all the way to the end of this video, leave a comment down below that says fountain pen, and that lets me know you watched this whole video. So until next time, you guys check out the description below for all the links for the items that I used today. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!